Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you how I painted this barn quilt to use in my bedroom. To start this project, I purchased a pre-cut piece of plywood that was 1 inch thick by 20 inches square. I then applied a coat of primer, followed with a coat of latex paint in a creamy white color. Then using some graph paper, I drew out a pattern I wanted onto a 10 inch square. I then flipped the pattern over and using a pencil scribbled all over the backside of my pattern. This will allow me to easily transfer my design onto the wood by simply tracing the lines. To transfer the pattern onto the wood, I will trace one section, then pivot the design and trace the next. To help keep the pattern straight, I marked the middle of the board and two middle marks in the center of the board to use as a guide. Then taking my pattern, I lined it up with my guide and taped it down with some painter's tape so that it couldn't shift while I was tracing the design. I then simply traced over my design with a pencil. how the design has transferred onto the wood. After tracing one section, I moved the pattern and repeated the same process three more times. I found using a straight edge made tracing the lines much easier and quick. Once the tracing was complete, I used painter's tape to fill in all the sections of the design that I wanted to stay the background color. The remaining sections would all be painted an accent color. The paint I'm using is Americana Decor paint in a chalky finish in the shade Relic, which is a beautiful grayish black color. And using an angled brush, I simply started painting in the sections of my design. Once the paint had dried, I took some fine grit sandpaper and very lightly distressed the areas I had just painted. I then removed all the painter's tape and gave the whole thing a good dusting. To help antique the base color, I used Americana Decor's Cream Wax in the color Deep Brown. Using a small clean cloth, I spread the wax all over the painting, allowed it to dry, and then buffed the wax with a clean cloth. I think this step finished the project nicely. The final step is to add a frame around the painting. To do this, I'm using some 1x2 boards. First, I measured and cut a piece for both the left and the right side. I then repeated the process for both the top and the bottom edges. Before installing the frame, I gave each piece a coat of paint. lightly distress the edges of each piece with some sandpaper. I then attach the frame by nailing a few finishing nails along each side. The 
sparkle is absolutely gorgeous and I couldn't be more happy with how it turned out. I love the way it looked on the shelf in my bedroom. Hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and I will see you again on my next video. Bye now.